All right, guys, what up? Sarah Safari here. I'm running the podcast solo today because um, men suck. I'm kidding. We love them. We love men. We love you guys, the men watching this and the women watching this. Yo, comment. I want to know the demographic of this podcast. Comment if you're a woman because I love you. And the best compliment ever is when people come up to me and tell me that they love this podcast. Like this last last weekend, I was in Miami for Gymshark. And a girl came up to me and told me that like this podcast saved her and her boyfriend's relationship. And I was like, that's dope, first of all. Second of all, then no women watched me talk. So I appreciate that. Appreciate the guys too. Um, but yeah, we have Jeff Wittick on today and we have Bradley Martin. We're just waiting for them to come. Guys like run always late. Brad's always late. Jeff seems to be late, but we're going to get into the nitty gritty. You guys have been asking for Jeff to come on, so got to please the people. He's a really cool guy, though. This is the first time I've met him. Really good first impression. So, yeah. Boys, come on. That's f***ed up that I'm here right now. Yeah, Are you we rolling need to, yet? We're rolling. I started this. So, right. can you shut that door? Why is it fucked up? Because... I asked you a million times, or you asked me a million times to be here. <laughs> this and is I, different, though. You have Sarah. I, yeah, I'm here because Sarah is nice. That's, yeah. I'm here only for Sarah. Yeah. You refuse to mm. take your hat off. Yeah. You refuse to let me cut your hair. Yeah, dude, I always said you can cut the beard. You cut Why the beard? will you not let Jeff cut your hair? Because like, I got let's a, get a sh- hairline. Everyone knows that. That's not true. It, you have a good enough hairline for me to do the optical illusion and work my magic, and I could. it'll just be... I feel like it'd be good for you to talk I'm, about your insecurities because you always I've talk this alpha. It. I've y- talked about it. I've yeah. made a whole video yeah, about this. Exactly. Show. You got to be real with your audience. Go to my Tell YouTube channel. Truth. Look at my biggest insecurity. It's literally the title of the video. I've yeah. talked about it. Yeah. Well, that's good to be open about your insecurities. People, there you go. people will relate to that, you know. I I'm would sure never like, set you up for failure and you know that. And I think yeah. you should do as. I'm down to shot. do it. I'm down to do it. But I think like we should we should do it one at once before. See how, you know, and then. Well, why don't we all just talk about our insecurities right now? Yeah, I think that's great. I think you should start. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, because you seem like a very secure, confident guy. Yeah. Yeah. Are you actually my insecure my biggest you? insecurity um right now? Probably my my height. You're tall. Mm-hmm. I just you're, wanted to get that out. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. I was um, like the first thing. That I, was funny. He just wanted you to say that he's the, tall. The first that thing. Was- Clever, when dude. he walked in, was I was like, "Wow, you're actually tall." He's like six one. Yeah. No, I, like six I mean, two. like, if you really want to get deep, I have like commitment issues. I procrastinate yeah, I a lot. I eat too much candy. I, I got a f-ed up eye. I have bad memory. God, brain I damage. Candy. I got a lot of issues. You know. You go now. <laughs> Wait, do you, you have anger problems? I got anger problems. Yeah, I, I know. Snap he does. all the time. <laughs> you yeah. do. Yeah. So yeah. Does. But I, I really, really work on them. Like I. This past year, I've been great to all my employees, all everybody around me. I do breathing exercises, like I do a lot of to get You're it serious out. We right. love a self-aware man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's good. She, she's a big fan of you, by the way. What's the deal with this? Is this real? Because I can't tell. I see how you guys f- around, and I just don't. I don't believe it. We don't f- around it. like that. We f- around in completely like best friends forever type. Yeah, yeah, fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. It's sort of like my relationship with. You know who, you know. Yeah, who? Tana. Yeah, but I feel like there's love. You have love no, for her. But no. Dude, I saw the video of you like talking about how you <laughs> feel the cutie no. for her. Oh, that, that was. was I, no, I was just putting it on for the camera. Yeah, they're probably like that stupid. Like, will you peel the thing? And then yeah, she, I asked he was like, it. I'll have to do this. I asked him about it. And he was like, get your own <laughs> cutie, Sarah. Yeah. That makes sense. Org. That's an honest answer. Finally, yeah. Bradley's telling the truth to his audience. Yeah. Um, I, that's all I do is tell the truth to my audience. Well, I think you'd be more truthful. We're gonna do the insecurity thing. I just talked about everything. Let's let's go around, you know. Let's start this. Oh, they know about my hair. What's line. your hair? What's yours? Um, I'm insecure about my body hair. I'm insecure about the way my teeth look. I'm insecure. Are sometimes. you really? Yes, I'm insecure about like when I'm talking and if it's perceived as like, oh, this like uneducated or illiterate. I don't like people to think that I'm stupid. Uh huh. Um. I'm well, in- I don't think you're stupid, and your teeth are perfect. And you could wow. laser your body hair off. Thank you. Look at that. Problem solved. And you Jeff go to Turkey me. and you get I know. plug them back in. These mental problems up here need a lot more work <laughs> than that. It's weird. Yeah. It's like I've like, I've known that for so long. And for some reason, I just haven't set a trip. 
to go do it. It's not like as if I can't. I don't yeah, know why. Let's, let's make a fun vlog out of it or something, you know? And then nobody could see to you anymore. Yeah. Damn. And you're, you know, nobody's really saying to you. Actually, a lot of people do a lot. talk to Bradley. It's funny hanging out with him and going to like fighting events because oh, everybody God, this is wants funny. to fight him. Yeah, everybody I know the 260 some... thing. Okay, this is funny. So we're at the karate thing and this was like, bro, let's get in there. And I knew, I know exactly how this is going to go. If I step in there, because we we're just going to f around and that'd be fun. I'd love yeah. to f around. Like, honestly, I'd like to go train, f have some yeah, fun yeah. with you. But, pause. Yeah, no, I'm not going to say pause. <laughs> I love Jeff. Around. He's dope. But but it, in like a gay way, either way, who cares? Anyway, listen. Um, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Jiu-jitsu is gay. Yeah, it is. And like I love we're, it. We're going to be looking at each other. Anyways, he's like, let's do this. And I'm like, this is not going to go over well because there's oh, tons of people, right? T like a big crowd. Right. And I already know if the second I step in there, everyone is going to come out of like the woodwork and be like, mm -hmm. me next, me next. Oh, you're 260, blah, blah, right? And then I'm like, no, 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 I'm good. And he low key gets kind of pissed at me because I was like, really, like, no, I'm not doing it. Yeah. So I like somersaulted in off the side. You know how that karate combat yeah. thing is like, a, he gets in. I jump in and same thing happens to him. Everybody starts calling me out, yo, let's roll. Let's yeah. see who. Yeah. And now there's cameras and it's like, yeah. this kid, you ain't getting that fight for, with me for free. Say this little kid's a black belt or something and he taps yeah. me out. Yeah. And that's what you have to deal with every single every day, day everywhere you go. Every day. It's like, I, I go to. California Chicken Cafe and people try to fight me. Do you think if Jeff and I took you two on one, you'd beat us? To what? If we fought you two, Jeff, could, percent. Jeff could scrap though. You really? Just throw something oh, yeah. in his eyes or like go for his eyes. That's come on. It's a no, all I have fight. to worry about is him. Fight. That's what he challenges everybody. All I'd have yeah. to do is worry about him. I wouldn't have to worry about you. What do you mean? I can take you. No. I'm 130. What's your skill set? What would Bruce Buffer introduce you as? A street fighter? I guess that's what he would have to say. He's a street fighter. <laughs> I mean, it would. That, that would good. be funny. Uh huh. I mean, I guess that's how I'd introduce me. That's pretty dope. Yeah. I don't know why more UFC fighters don't do tell them to say that. Just be like, "Yo, I'm a street fighter, dog." I feel like I feel like, oh man. Do you, do you think that like these like UFC uh, not even UFC fighters? I've seen now. Okay, I'm like like recently, like Ryan Garcia is gonna box Devin Haney, right? Yeah. There's I commented on that, and you, I saw you commented on that, too, where uh, Ryan called out Sean. Yes. Me? So there's now all this, there's all this, I mean, they've always been doing it. It's not because I did the Street Fighter thing, but there's been all this, like, inner sport beef, and it's mm -hmm. so much more, like, prominent now. I don't know, maybe, maybe it, it was the Mayweather. Publicity. Yeah, because it's, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, Ryan's talking to, like, Sugar Sean, but he's also talking to, like, Bryce Hall. Yeah. But it's fights with Devin Haney. And I'm like, what? Like, this is. I guess he, yeah, maybe he's delusional. I don't know. I think people genuinely think, you know, you kind of have to have that delusional confidence when you're a fighter. For sure. Yeah. You got to believe that you could go in there and beat anybody. Yeah. So I'm sure Ryan has that, even though he lost his last or his other second to last fight. Um, but yeah. thinking that you could fight an MMA champion in MMA is. It's. I just tried it. I just literally tried it myself. I I went out to Sugar's and I fought a pro. Yeah. This kid's five and zero, oh and he's like Sugar's main sparring partner. This kid f***ed me up for full three three rounds. We did three rounds. I got my woof. Everything hurts right now. I got a tummy ache. Did you do it in Arizona? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The tummy were, ache's pretty funny. Yeah. Bro, they, this kid was just hitting me with leg kicks one after another. And I started like checking him a little bit, but still, like you just you forget about that, you yeah. know. Yeah, and and the boxers like what are they? They don't ever train for that. Because like, yeah. how do you think that would go? Sh like Sugar Sean versus Ryan Garcia, how would you think that actually go? Kills him. Yeah. He just use he has so many more weapons, so many more yeah. skills, yeah. so many more things, disciplines you have to work on. Like, it's cool you master just hands, but to limit somebody to like, all right, I want to fight you. But we have to put pillows on our fist, and we can only use our hands and nothing else. We make all these rules. Yeah, it's kind of like. I mean, it's a specific art for sure. Mm -hmm. That that sort of that sort of boxing. I mean, boxing in general is a certain art, but yeah, I mean, the MMA thing is like, especially someone like Sugar. Like, I don't know what you're gonna do to that guy. Yeah, you, you, I guess in his mind, he thinks you're just gonna knock him out. No, Sugar head kicks him or blasts a kick right through both of his legs or something like that, or just a body kick. You know, Ryan's got that. That you know, that's his spot here. Yeah, he knocked Gervonta knocked him down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Imagine a foot. Imagine a heel hitting that. Yeah, ten times worse. But yeah, that's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm all, I'm all beat up, and, and then you got a tummy ache. I came back and I yeah, was like, you know what? Yeah, grown ass man with a tummy ache. <laughs> I, I haven't had a tummy ache in 
20 years, and I agree to do this podcast because of Sarah. Mm-hmm. Sarah was being nice. And, so. Thank and, you. And um, I was like, you Good know stuff. what? I'm going to... Yeah, don't say I never do anything. Yeah, you got it. I want to do stuff like you guys so I could come in here and relate to you guys, you know, because I'm like sort of a fitness guy, but not really. You know, mm-hmm. I don't talk about it much, and I have a terrible diet. So I, after getting my ass whooped, I was like, you know what? I'm going to change this. I'm going to start eating clean. Catching up with me, my poor diet, my candy, and but I feel like you have crazy cardio. Like you run, yeah, miles you do so miles. much cardio. But it doesn't, it doesn't equi- It just, it doesn't compare to that type of MMA cardio. Like of course, a fight cardio. It's just, it's, it's different. I feel like if you fix the eating, just even the sl- in the slightest, you'd see crazy results because you already don't drink alcohol. You do so much cardio. Like you have mm-hmm. every other box checked off. If you fix diet, even like. 20 percent yeah you'd be like you'd see a crazy difference yeah so this is what i tried to do i tried to do this last night i went to i went to the supermarket i got a big thing of ground turkey i cooked the whole thing but i, I didn't cook it enough i don't think oh because <laughs> like i swear 4 a.m last night i felt like i was given birth like i had a baby that had to come out of me my stomach couldn't I, nothing could come out it was just like gut-wrenching pain that's what i'm here for i'll cook for you no she won't she she'll cook. fucking help me with she those tough cook, words yeah that i'm going back to the way i was eating before no, no yeah. you can't just give it one shot and then you know what's no, funny about ground my turkey? body needs all ground the turkey's the easiest thing to cook. i hate ground turkey and the reason why i hate ground turkey is because when i did the competition stuff for so many years that was what i ate and i'd like look at it now just like almonds ground turkey and tilapia i cannot eat yeah because when i did the when i did the whole dieting thing those are like the things i would like focus my diet around when i was cutting yeah and i don't even want to look at those mother- things no more i love ground turkey well Trash. right now i can't really think about it but <clears throat> i think i'm going back to my way of doing things because that you know if it ain't broke don't fix it i was eating sour patch kids twizzlers that was my whole diet and that worked so i'm going back to that no smart honestly no mm-hmm. if it, it, if it, it ain't shot. broke you know what i'm saying don't fix well, it well i did get my ass whooped but i think that's oh, from that's from the lack of, of experience yeah, yeah. And I was nervous too, Berto. The whole gym stops and comes over, and this, you got sugar yelling. And yeah, like, your heart rate definitely is way increased. In yo, there. I want to see that. Is there videos of this? Yeah, there's videos of it. I need to see, see this. It. It'll be out probably by the time this is out. I want to see that too. Sure. I got to post myself. What yeah. about you or Ryan Garcia in a street fight? I mean, street fight, I'll, I'll cheat. I'll, I'll do some dirty. Thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll throw something in his eyes. Yeah, and that's a real street fight. Sand in his eyes. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's when she gets all... She's blushing from me saying that I'll do a crime. No, I'm sunburnt. Yes, she did. I'm mm. sunburnt. She, she got kind of like yeah. hyped on that. What the hell? No, I'm sunburnt from Miami. Uh, you look a little blushing. I'm not blushing. You look... You're really... You know what's funny about this? This is amazing. She's really smiley today. Yeah. I'm in a good mood. Yeah, but it's not... My birthday's tomorrow. You I, are, you yeah, no, I know that. I knew that. Oh, Yeah. That's another thing. You lied to me first. No, I didn't lie. Nick lied on my behalf, and I just didn't fix it. So she infiltrated the Bachelor show that I'm doing right now with Ethan Klein and H3 Productions, the yeah, okay. show. Um, it's super cool. It's fun. You know, they had a bunch of girls submit videos, and they went through them and, like, decided what the, which ones would work with me. And then, I, you know, like, next week I go in and interview them, and we have, like, a, a Zoom call or whatever. So there's 10 women that I'm dating right now. That are in the running, the contestants for me to find love, you know? Wow. So Sarah comes in. She infiltrates it. She's going to... I was invited to infiltrate. She was invited, yeah. I heard about her, and I was like, you know what? Well, Nick set it up on my pod, and he, um, the way he explained it, it was a, it, he said that you were old enough for the age cutoff, but you're too young. I'm 23 tomorrow. Let's well, film on Wednesday. It was... What's the age cutoff? Submissions were already cut off. It was 25. Yeah. But it got lowered to twenty three just because there, like, there were some exceptions for athletes, genetically, like superior genetics. If there was a, like a case like that, do I not have I superior Sarah, genetics? I think Sarah may qualify. Yeah, I see. We may have to do a drug I test just, if you're taking Bradley's stuff. Yes, I'll stuff. do that. No, I don't take any of Bradley's stuff. I'll do a drug test. I don't smoke weed. I don't I do anything. Really, He's super yeah. clean. I'm so clean. Like I'm. Damn. I'll take any drug test. But besides that, it's just cool that she wants to be in it. You know, I, w- I love a good competition, but like I want to win. Wait, I'm but how do you pick it. the winner? Is it just you? I picking? pick. Yeah. Yeah. They got to well, pick me, too, though, because I'm going to be completely honest. They've with already them. They picked might... you if they submit it. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know what the case is. I don't know why people do this stuff. Do they just want to be on the show because they're fans of the show? Mm, you don't want a little clout chaser. What about you? What are your intentions? You know, my intentions are to find a husband. I don't want a boyfriend. You want. OK. I want a husband. 
That, I think that's where I'm at in my life now. I want a husband. That you want a husband too? Mm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 I always go for the gay ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I'm at. No, I think it's time Bradley and I start having kids. Yeah. With women. Yes. You know? Not with each other. That's yes, not I, yeah. Just to clarify yeah, the way like, he said wait, that was no, like, no, I know, us I know kids. he needs a family. Yeah, we're definitely yeah. doing that. We're like the same age. How crazy is that? I yeah. know, isn't it crazy how much steroids can age a person? Yeah, wow, that's crazy because yeah. my beard's a little overgrown right now. No, I was gonna, bro, you know I was I gonna look, do? Are you kidding me? I look so much younger than you. I was, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I'm, oh, we're gonna run this back when I shave, but I was gonna, I was gonna talk about this actually. I wanted to, I was gonna do a mustache, I was gonna shave this down. No way, do a mustache. No way, no. What's underneath that beard? No, nobody's ever seen that either. No, they've seen that. I always have my beard. I've had my beard low plenty of times. I think it's good for a healthy shave once a year, at least. Should I do know? the mustache? I kind of want to see it. I think yeah. your content would go crazy if you just posted feed post, you mustache. Yeah. Insane. I always rock a little scruff, but I'll, like for a Halloween costume or if I need to get in character for like a silly video or something, then I'll, I'll shave and it's always like, uh, it's, a, it's a big difference. But your skin under there, like, let it see some sunlight, you know? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he saw hidden. me once. You were like, because I had that, it was like my skin was like flaky. Skin irritated because yeah. he was It was that, funny. He hair. noticed it. Because he does the whole, no, like, I know, I know. hair he thing. He saw me we yeah. eating at a. It's like, bro, you need to see the dermatologist, yeah. dog. We're, we're, <laughs> yeah, it sometimes was fun. he gets on his shirt when he yeah. wears black. Oh, uh, well, you got dandruff in the beard? Yeah. Yeah. What do I got to do? Well, you got to get anti-dandruff shampoo, but also you got to give that skin some sunlight and some blood Can I breathe, please moisturize your beard? it. You know. Well, I don't want. Well, yeah, the beard, but I, I yeah. do want the mustache. No, for real. that goes so hard. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it. You. I did. A, I did a handlebars then you're, once. You'd really touch into your pedophile energy. Wow, that's great. Is that crazy to say? Holy, <laughs> that's insane yeah. to say. Yeah, oh, should yeah. I not? Yeah, for nah. you for this arrangement. Yeah, that's insane well, to say. I gotta see. Wow. I, Can you back off Steve's jokes? Yeah. What the f hey! No, you deserve that one. That no, I'd rather be called a. Never mind. I, I think <laughs> that's the worst thing to be called. Is it? Is a a it hurts me. Is it really? A pedo. You call yeah. me a. Yeah, like. A pedo or. Both, dude. But pedo's like the worst thing in the world. Yeah. yeah. You should kill those people. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't terrible. like that, obviously. I don't. Silly joke. Sorry. God, you're mean just because Jeff's here. Are you trying to show up or like. I like your dark sense of humor. I like that everything's a joke to you I, and, and everything <laughs> pisses you off yeah it's pretty cool but i just worry that if it, it'll be too much with the too both much of us. maybe yeah you guys i don't know if you guys would yeah what do you survive. think you know both of us i don't separately. think you guys would survive why we kill our children we'd chris benoit yeah. our whole you guys family. are f insane I'm at, you know chris benoit yeah of course yeah, we would probably end up doing that <laughs> yeah wait you, why do you or think he took out his wife too think, that was a terrible that's a sad story because you're dark because i'm dark and he's dark like yeah, you guys would end up like killing each other it'd be too much darkness yeah mm. but like no alcohol so that cuts back on the chances yeah. of domestic violence yeah you that's know? huge that's, that's good that's at least like 80 percent less no you hit me i'll hit pieces. you right back <laughs> yeah and if we're sober hitting each other we're really ahead and we belong in jail yeah. you know <laughs> and, then, and then like all right she would too put me in a cage i belong here oh dude why are you so dark i don't know i'm not dark yeah, you guys. Where'd know. you grow up? Oh, Kentucky. Kentucky. Oh, you remember? Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I I listen to my own podcast frequently after it comes out. Do you really? really? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Very motivating. <laughs> very motivating. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff, bro. I put out quality. You know the deal. Yeah. You, it is. You've been on the show. Yeah. No, you have. You. I love your show. No, I edit. I I'll like go through the edits, but I remember. Yeah, I remember. Whatever. No, that's great. I can't even admit. Like, yeah, I remembered. Yeah, I don't I watch. I don't watch my own content. I don't watch. I don't. Yeah, I don't. No, need, I don't watch your content either. Wow, that's <laughs> wow, that's sweet. Did you know about this? We can destroy you, us two together. I yeah. mean, you could try, but you wouldn't get anywhere. I well, verbally, try. are you talking about like in a roast? Either way, verb. I mean, you've been crushed this whole podcast so no, far. No, we've been talking about your age. You're your the same. We're the use, same age. How I, but how you've aged, you know. <laughs> You won't take How your hat I've off. Aged? You're insecure. <laughs> you lie to your audience. How do I lie to my audience? There's a whole bunch of <laughs> and, and also you're a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, this is crazy. Know, bro, this is insane. That is true. We have Steve that thing on you. Steve will do it. You've been getting destroyed. I'm a nice guy, man. I hold back. I, I hold the punches back. I know, but this is what keeps you going. You need to call out more people. Start more beef. I think you need to call out more fighters. Be more <laughs> delusional. Like, call out. <laughs> Call someone out right now, bro. Brad. Like what I just honestly, did. I want to fight Conor McGregor. No, somebody in your weight class. 
call out somebody. That's the whole point of the thing, though, is that they're skilled. I'm not. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. So the weight difference. You call out the smaller guy. I'm just an idiot. I that's just, the whole joke. I just went in there and fought somebody my size, but that he was a pro, undefeated, all finishes. Yeah. How did it end? Do you just stop? He oh, wasn't trying to knock you out. standing and banging. We were f- like I had to just How big give were the it, gloves? Um, MMA gloves. Oh, so the actual. Yeah, I got a hit right here on my lip. <gasps> I got a little. Oh, shot. I see it. I thought yeah. it was herpes. Did you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, but I wasn't gonna bring it up. No, I'm clean, Sarah. <laughs> I don't. I'm not like that. That's good. You know, I don't. I don't just around like you know most of the people in this business. That's good. That's great. Is that true? I like to hear that. Is it true, or are you saying that for camera right now? I think he's saying that for camera. Really? Yeah, he looks like that. No, what are you talking about? Yeah, you do I mean, look like you just get you, no bunch of. Are you, no, you, no, I, I, come I, on. I'm like. Uh, do you have any dating apps, Raya or whatever? No. Okay. Yeah, I don't have. I can't even answer my DMs. I don't even look at my DMs. So you just have the same roster you've been had. <laughs> I don't even have a roster. I don't have a roster. Okay. I don't have nothing. Okay. I stopped everything for this show. I'm committed. You okay. know, I, I really think it's time I, I give this a chance because I keep saying like I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm only 34. You know. Like that meme, but you're you know, actually you, you would you know actually the take... meme that that's a meme that's a joke where it's like guys will say that they're only 30, 35 like they're something. not ready for a relationship, but they'll you know yeah that's the perfect time for a relationship. But 34. wait 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 you're saying you're actually taking these people serious who are like the suitors for the show? Yeah, bro, you're taking yeah. it serious. I'm gonna. F- there's this one girl from Australia. I'm thinking about like what my life would be out there, you know. But then Sarah comes in and f- close lines her. Okay, so now it's now it's not serious. Like, which part is serious, <laughs> bro? It's serious, but I just don't take it, things that serious. But I'm taking this pretty serious for so me. If you really vibe with one of them, like you're gonna pick them, yeah, date them, yeah, exclusively. Yes. Would it be like a social media relationship? Like, would you put that on the internet? I mean, Goodness. you know how we are. You know how we are. Yeah, I wouldn't. We well. It depends. I, I don't like, know. Would you pull a full like Mike Malak? Mm, I can't see myself doing that. No. Okay. I can't see myself trying to profit. <clears throat> I mean, not saying that. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to use her <laughs> Snapchat clickbait. She, she, she's she knows the deal. She's cool with it. And Mike makes a lot of money on Snapchat. Like he's actually, if his Snapchat is not doing good that day, he'll call the people at Snapchat. And he's like, "Oh, what's going on? Oh, why's my thing not on the Explore page?" Sounds like me. Do you do that? No, I don't call. Like her. But like, I I bust his balls about posting on Snap. Yeah, um, I gotta be better. You at need on to Snap. also be better. I went mean? and looked the other day. You had like six stories up. Yeah, I don't give. A Maximize it. I'm 34. I'm not supposed to be good at Snapchat. Yeah, being good at Snapchat is lame. I think. I think that's corny if you're good at Snapchat. Okay, I hear that, but it's an extra revenue source for you that you could do implement that money in no, other ways. I'm not ways. passionate about it. I don't care. Okay, okay. Doesn't, you know what's crazy? It disappears in a day. You know, what's the point of making content that disappears? Why don't I just do another cash grab? I'll just do OnlyFans in two, you know? That is so different. Whoa, this is this is, this is is good right joking? now. Hold on a second. I'll do OnlyFans? Basically, Never mind, I'm not going on. Might basically saying well. you guys, you you basically do OnlyFans. What are you saying? Might as well. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I, I don't. I don't. That came out the wrong way. I was comparing them because they're both things that are are cash grabs. Right. You know, like I like to make stuff that I'm passionate about. I get you. That's what I like to put my time into. That's why no, I, I respect I'll, that. I'll, That's... You guys are the same kind of. You know, you do podcasts and stuff. It's funny. It's the Snapchat thing. Because how long have you had Snapchat? Like. Have I been in the ad revenue share? No. How oh. long have you used Snapchat? <clears throat> Over a decade. Yeah, me too. So I used to make, like, you know how you post on Snapchat? Yeah. Like, that's what I used to do. Yeah. Before there was ever any money in it. Yeah. So same thing with Instagram. I feel the same way. It's like, I have just this, the age thing. I'm not saying like, yo, you get old and you just stop making content, but you get to a point where you're like, I've made so much, like so many stories, so many posts where I'm just yeah. like. But I hear yeah. you guys and you're both way more like developed on. Yeah, we're social. getting dementia and. Yeah. Repeating stories. Yeah. Podcast. It's like story. shut the <laughs> up. You know, you're good. You're still young, spry. You got some time. Yeah, you got like two more years. Nah, hopefully only for what? This two year. more years of what? Just staying on top. Yeah. Hopefully only another year. Yeah. I'm not trying to be 34 and doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope not. That sucks. I, I hope fucking, not. I'm in pain right now. Yeah, I'm in hurts. physical pain. Yeah, your tummy <laughs> aches. It hurts.
No, no. It, Bradley and I have been on top of it. Everybody else fell off but us. I yeah. think we're the only ones no, still hanging on. Me, you, and Mike. Yeah. In the, in the 30 age bracket. It is. It's just us it's and crazy. Joe Rogan. crazy. And Joe Rogan. But yeah. he's the man, though. Yeah, he's in a different field. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah aging is a trip, though, on social media, for sure. I felt like I would be done by now. Like when I started, when I was at my peak, because now it's all downhill. We hit our prime. When you were calling out all those UFC fighters, that's when that was your height. That, that was, was your arm. Yeah, that was it. You know the scene in Damn. Sopranos where he's like, uh, where yeah. Christopher's like, <clears throat> where's my arc? You know? Yeah, that was it. You know that scene? You actually know it was what I'm my talking moment, about? Yeah. Yeah. And now we're. No. Where's my like arc? I already had it. Your you already had it. Do amazing. So do yours. I love podcasting. I don't think you guys are going downhill. No, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm. So. I'm on. I'm, I'm. I'm just going negative. You know. Yeah, you're negative. Cynical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cynical. I like it. Well, like, no, keep I'm, it real. You know, we were we were more popping, and we're only getting older, and that's not how uh, father time works. You know, our, yeah. our prime, our physical prime, is behind us. Not mine. We need to accept that. Yours probably. The Volkanovsky curse. He got knocked Damn. out at 35, bro. It's true. Once we hit 35, we're basically dead. You know, essentially. So you both have a year left. Are you both thirty four? You're thirty four. Yeah, I'm thirty four. Yeah. Same age. When's yeah. your birthday? December fifteenth. Mm, you turn thirty five sooner mm-hmm. than Bradley. No, no, me. no way. Me. Oh wait, no. We're, no, we're dumb. You turn. Oh yeah, sorry. That's all the way around. <laughs> yeah, bro. Sorry, you're yeah. saying you're way older than me. <laughs> thirty five and like. Yeah, you're three like months. six months older than me. Oh, sh- deal, bro. You might even be a grade above me if we were like in high school yeah. together. You might be a senior and I'm a junior. Yep. Holy. Yeah, bro. What? This is bad. What? You looked at me and you were like, I'm older than this guy. That's weird. Uh, yeah. This guy. <laughs> it would have been a few months. <laughs> bro, look at you. I mean, just like he mass was... wise, you look like you got to be like 100 years old. <laughs> just purely 100. You just get bigger and bigger as you grow. You get older. You're a toddler for real. And all that growth hormone, you don't stop. Your body doesn't stop producing it. Yeah, it just keeps going, dude. (laughs) Do you ever take anything? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I did stem cells when I had the accident. Yeah. I'm not in UFC, you know, but I don't care to get big like Bradley. I I don't think that's practical. I think it's dumb. Yeah, I can't do fake doorways. I love when small people say getting big is dumb. (laughs) It's the best. (laughs) thing <laughs> yeah, that's well, stupid anyways well, well, you can't buy right, jeans uh, yeah you can't fit in a porch i really can't buy jeans. your shorts rise all the way up when you do podcasts yeah oh, i like shorts you're, you're, you're in pants this one yeah. that's shorts comments funny yeah, they get right in your crotch and your calves <laughs> are just your, th- your thighs are just i huge. love that yeah um so you took stem cells i did stem cells for my eye but no i, I don't really care to take like um tests when, when i'm older you yeah. know you do and have beautiful hair. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I would have to sacrifice that. No, you don't just sacrifice that because it's testosterone. If I'm injecting it? No. It's a genetic thing. Like, if you're predisposed. Like, I started losing my hair before anything. So you've always had natural high testosterone? No, I just always had a shit hairline. Hair genetics. But you obviously have high <clears throat> testosterone, right? Yeah, for sure. Because he injects it. No. No, even prior. Even yeah, prior? always had high, for sure. Oh, but, you have injected? You... Yeah, but but what I'm saying you is... You admit to that? Yeah, I've talked about it. <laughs> oh, that's dope that you do that. Yeah. Not but like The Rock who just acts like he's all natural and he's 60 forever. years old. That's cool. I didn't know you did that. Yeah. Damn. But but, but the Bradley the came respect. out of the closet. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I've been out of the closet, out though. Out the <laughs> admitted to do it. There. But it's, it's science, you know? Like, it's yeah. just why not use it to your advantage? Look at LeBron James. You know, he spends $2 million a year on his body. These <laughs> are definitely doing it. Yeah, they're just doing it without getting caught. They're, they're doing it smarter. Yeah, all the Russians, they're all they're they've got caught for cheating in the Olympics. They banned Russia from the Olympics because like every one of their athletes were on juice. Something. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I feel like it's so much more prevalent Normal. than like people think. In, yeah, in, in sports and fighting and everything. Because there's ways to get around the tests, right? Like if you so do, many oh, yeah. if you do like <clears throat> testosterone can't. It just be like your own testosterone is high. There's certain compounds you could take that just aren't even being tested for as well. What? That's how like SARMs and pro hormones and all that started originally. Like those sort of like different versions of like the same thing basically that yeah. weren't tested for. Yeah, and then EPO 
that's something that a lot of people take that makes you like, I was thinking about taking that before I did the marathon, <clears throat> just get on a bunch of EPO. You know what that is? Mm-mm. UFC fighters get caught taking it because it like gives you endless cardio. Yeah. I was going to take it, but I'm like, I'm doing this for basically a, a participation medal. You know, yeah. I'd only be cheating myself. So I was like, what the fuck am I going to take up? You know? Yeah. Cheating yourself is an interesting concept. I'd though, probably wake like- up with a tummy ache because I did something different. Yeah, that's what they say. Don't change anything. Race day. I'm doing the LA Marathon in two weeks. You know? I, really? I actually, I'm actually I'll like, you should is, do it with me. I can't. She couldn't pull that off. Do cardio. She couldn't pull that off. You got a heart. You could do it. Old yeah, she has do a it. heart. It doesn't mean it's like gonna work for that. Bro, long. old. There's old people out there doing it. A marathon is not like a crazy feat to do. Actually, I think the, <laughs> the term marathon comes from ancient Greece, where a guy like had to deliver a message in war times. And he went 26 miles and then died. That's why it's called like the, the marathon. marathon. Yeah. yeah. Is that the well, real I story about it? I, I think I heard that shit too. What the Did fuck? You gotta look it up. Do you look it up? I mean, I don't give a <laughs> No, I actually want to know now. I think, you're, I think you're about. spot on. How did yeah? the name yeah. marathon come yeah. about? It's just this concept's funny now because it just makes you think about people just saying things on the internet and it's just like because you said yeah. it, it's just true. Yeah. And then someone else hears and they're like, that's true. And let's true. give him, like, let's say his name too, give him props for starting the fucking Yeah, Especially if he died. He gave his life for this race that we're all competing in. I just paid the LA Marathon 250 bucks for a ticket to do the race. Damn, you know? you have to, they make money off he that He should too? be eating off that, you know? Yeah. His ancestors. This money should be going to the Greeks. Crazy. Damn, I honestly, I've thought about doing stuff like that, but I think when I get like older and like skinnier like you, <laughs> I'll probably do it. Older and skinnier like <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. I feel like you yeah. can do a marathon though. <clears throat> That's what I'm cardio. saying. He's calling me. Should I answer yeah, him? Yeah, Let yeah, me answer yeah. it. We could put him in the thumbnail here. That's a good. That's a good thumbnail. Have Mike in there, like he was here. The Hi, whole time. Mike. No way. You want? What up? Sorry, Jeff's kind of busy right now. Him and Brad are like. Yeah, we're blowing out, bro. Are they are they talking about how much we hate they're you from Miami. They're topping each other off. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Swear, it's crazy. We actually we've we've been talking about a lot of wild stuff, Mike. You would you're gonna love this episode. You're gonna love really? this episode, yeah. Is this on the is this on mommy the mommy and daddy show? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, mommy yeah. and daddy. Wow. You gotta come on. I'm, I would be honored. What are your thoughts on Sarah and I? You think we're compatible now that you know both of us really well? Like, let's break it down. Two people who both love fitness, care about their bodies, sober, looking for the best out of life. Mm-hmm. You know, Mike's- trying to Okay, well, one of you guys is sober. Both I'm sober too. Oh, Okay, yeah. Both looking for the best out of life. And by the way, both focus on having kids like soon. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I say, Jeff, I say, Jeff, get it done. Try to get it done today if you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, get it done? Doesn't it take two to get it done? Of, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, you have to consent to it, of course. <laughs> Yeah. Or I could just go, yeah. I could go get like, give Jeff, like a, a semen uh, sample, Jeff, you, you know, on, I could jerk off. And stuff. Stuff. You got to tell her your eye genetics were good before the accident. The kid will have to Yeah, they stuff. were. It was, it was 2020 before I got, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So that <laughs> I'll f- crane hit him. Okay, I can't wait. I don't yeah. want to laugh about the that. crane hit him. Brad, I saw Zoo Culture got their cloud up. I saw Danny Duncan was over there. Yeah, Danny's in there all the time, bro. Getting the cloud way up. Danny is the best. That's my boy, dude. I know. Are, is he going to put some mass on or yeah, what? Yeah, he's going to get jacked. We're going to get him jacked. Gonna st- I'm going to come do a workout soon. Come by, bro. You've been saying that, Mike. You've been t- you've been saying a lot of things and you're not following up on your words. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> yeah, that's not yeah true. you've been saying... Dude, I told, I told Jeff... Just like that- the hotel room. Yep. Oh, why yes, don't we get to the ahead. bottom of that now? Because you ahead. talked all that about me in your video and sent all your fans to send me hate messages i don't even have any i only have enemies so. <laughs> well whoever the f- watches Walk. your f- messaged me and they were like yo it's f- up what you did to mike he pays yeah. for all your sh-. get the f- out of here mike didn't pay for sh-. i paid my way and i left when i wanted to i came there to support you at your thing your Aww. your new mainstream job which i'm proud of you that you got proud of you proud of you and i came Thank to support you, you know and I the f- they f- played story. me at the hotel they yeah, gave bradley I- a suite I still haven't got my money back for oh, that either. Rock? Yeah. Wait, you guys didn't get uh, no free way, rooms? Brad, really? Yeah, they still haven't paid me yet. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll check on that today. Brad, I'm say <laughs> Brad, had, Brad had a big ass. Brad had the biggest suite in the world. Yeah, Wait, exactly. Rock? And no, this is also Miami. this is also why I got even more mad because it was 4 a.m. They go, here you go, Mr. Bradley. Here, have your 
sweet. And then, oh, Jeff, all our rooms are sold out for the night, and your reservation was canceled because you showed up after midnight. <laughs> and if you want to rebook, we have one secret room hidden that is nine hundred dollars, which is three. Which what did he say? He made a stupid joke. He was like, yeah. at least it's like two sixty three times, and the math don't even add up. It's not even like a like a. Uh, Dude, Jeff is funny. Funny. I didn't add up for real. Jeff is funny. He made a joke because I was big. It was I got up. furious what? when he said that. You think you think Jeff's funny? Yeah, he's funny. How funny? Oh wow. Pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I told I told Jeff now him and Mike can both have Sarah's. Oh my god. Yes, with no H. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's consent. No, but that's not consent to like have like an. It's not like oh, consent to me. Mean, like have like in the, our lives. Yeah, yeah. Oh, got it. Okay, let's go, Sugar Sean. March 9th. Miami, yeah, Florida. Sugar. Let's oh, go. Did you, Barry, go did you down, see baby. Sugar's last podcast? No. <laughs> Him and Tim are like Sarah's like sexy, but she's just a little bro. <laughs> yeah. This is... Dude, Sarah, I'll put it like this: the day you can beat me in a push-up contest is the day Jeff will date will date you. Bro, I am gonna be cranking out push-ups. I almost got you at Power Slap. That's wild. Yeah, that, it was close. That <laughs> it was so you. close. What did it come out to? A little bit better too. I'm not gonna lie. My form was better. That's yeah. Wait, he, he beat form. you in a push-up contest? Barely, barely. My form was better. Stop with the twice. twice. Jeff is here. <laughs> Wait, it, how many push-ups? I think did you we clock? did like 45. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> look at him go. That what I was talking about earlier. That's look. how you get Snapchat going. Yeah, there you go. There's Snapchat. that is good content. Don't forget your Snapchats today, Mike. Yeah, don't forget your Snapchats. <laughs> I hate. All right, I love you guys. Have a good show, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, love you, bro. Peace. We love you. All right, guys. Pardon this interruption, but we just want to let you know that this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Um, thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this episode. We absolutely love, love. And use better help. Yeah, both of us. It. I need it. I One need more it. than the other. Probably me. It's yeah. definitely me. It is you. Oh, man. Guys, listen. If you've ever thought about getting some sort of help or some sort of advice outside of, like, I've talked about this before, but outside of, like, your traditional circle of friends, it's always going to be really beneficial because, again, it's something uh, in a situation where you don't want biases from people as far as, like, what's going on in your life. You get someone from outside who's not at all invested or in, like, truly a part of your life. So oftentimes they're going to give you advice that is not kind of leaning one way or the other, sometimes in relationship to them, right? So they're going to give you advice that is based on... Like, like it's what, biased, yeah, un, basically. Yeah, we don't want biased advice. We don't, we don't want, want fucking biased yeah. advice because you got enough of that already in your circle in your life. So if you guys want to check it out, go to betterhelp.com slash mommy daddy. Again, that's betterhelp.com slash mommy daddy to get 10% off your first month right now. Let's get back into this podcast. But you, you mentioned a little bit earlier the the you and Tana thing is like was it ever that at any point she's like in real? a full blown relationship. Now. I know now, mm. but before that and was he there seems ever? Dope. I love Tana. He was cool. I met he him in so Vegas. Cool. Yeah, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's perfect for her. Yeah, he's at, like he puts up with her craziness, like balances her out. He's super chill. Deal like puts up with me saying crazy stuff. Yeah, I think when I first saw a video of them together. I was like, I'll body slam that pineapple head. <laughs> yeah, pineapple and then everybody. Head. <laughs> and was, yeah, he got that. And then the pineapple head started to catch on. And then I was like, no, 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 no. Like, I, you know, I don't want to give him that nickname because I give people nicknames and they stick. Like, yeah, that's yeah. I, that's a that's a habit that I have. Like, I'll just spit give out her a nickname. Her nickname. It's oh, got to just come naturally. Okay. You know, please, it might it'll it, it it'll depends come. which way it goes. It might be like. A, I don't know. It might be like Snookums. Snookums. Yeah, it might be like a cute one, you know? You never know. Like one time I was in, in the car with this photographer I used to work with. He was like my shooter back before social media and all that. I just yeah. knew that I wanted to record like my haircuts and make content. And I was on tour with Wiz Khalifa and like all these rappers. I used to cut Mac Miller and Big Sean. <clears throat> That's so, dope. That's really cool. We were in the car following the tour bus going to the next city or whatever. And I had the kid drive because we were like, we're tired, wanted to sleep. This kid falls asleep at the wheel <gasps> and does a 360 on the freeway and lands right back in the sp in the lane and just starts cruising. We all wake up and I'm like, "What the f stunt man?" And that his name was just stunt, stunt man, man for the rest of his life. <laughs> it's just such a cool name too. And the kid's such like a nice like nerdy kid. Yeah, yeah. he could have killed you guys. I know he could have killed us. But he pulled a stunt man maneuver. He pulled stunt a man sick forever. Ass stunt Those man. are the best. I love nerdy kids. Yeah, he was a nice kid, but he would just like disappear with the videos. Where is he now? He was just probably a stunt man now. Probably full time. Yeah, yeah probably full time, full -time stunt man. Car stunt man, like in drive. 
You ever see Drive with yes. Ryan Gosling? What? Sick movie. That movie's great. You probably haven't seen that. Too young. Yeah, dude. That's an old. We just aged ourselves. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Wow. What, what have mo- you seen? Yeah, what movies are the kids watching these yeah. days? What's your favorite movie? Silence of the Lambs. Shut uh, the fuck up. Swear to God. That's a classic. That might Shut even up. be before your time. Shut uh, up, yeah, I don't dude. Even, I don't think I've ever sat through that whole thing. There's no way you I watch that. I love it. Swear no. to God. Swear to God. It's about cannibalism, right? Yeah. Yes. It's a good movie. But besides that, I guess I don't really like, like, I don't watch movies like that. Do you really not have like an all time? I don't have an all time favorite movie, actually, now that I think about it. I love Lion King. Like, that sounds like so. Whoa. That's, that's, you're me. But like the. Wait, the, did you say that? Because that's the one, that's my favorite movie. I didn't know that was your favorite movie. What the? No, <laughs> that is my favorite movie, though. In the that is my favorite yeah. movie. But it has, it's because of the father thing. It is. See? Yeah, it wow. is. Wow. Fuck. And I would always cry. Yeah, I'm wow, not that gonna, was weird. I'm okay. not going to admit to that. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fuck this shit up. I'm sure you guys get shipped pretty hard, right? Shipped? Shipped, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean. It's yeah. embarrassing for us to say these words. Yeah, but, just, age, like, but just like you and Tana. Yeah. It's same. Like never going to happen. You know, just be grateful that we're able to stay friends and make content together. You yeah. know? Yeah. Like you two. Yeah. Like sometimes... Like, he is one of my best friends. Like, I feel like if I had an issue, I would go to him. Yeah. yeah. Or if I need, needed something solved or if I needed advice, like, I would call him. Or if something, mm. like, super good happened to me, I'd want to, like, tell him about it. Yeah, that's how Tana and I are, too. Yeah. Like, the day after she did the award show at the Dolby Theater, like, yeah. where they do the Oscars, we did the H3 uh, Steamy Awards. She, like, got a little too drunk up there, and she got canceled for it like, like canceled like yeah, yeah the bullshit. fans are upset but yeah you know a thousand people posted on reddit or something that could it could get to you you know so for she sure. was like of course. having that anxiety the next day the hangover anxiety and i was like i understood what she was going through because i used to drink i know what yeah. it's like and i just like i just talked her through it and in a week she was fine or actually the next day she was fine i was like just joke around about it make content from that yeah you go just ahead got first a little too it. drunk yeah like if you get a little too drunk and up that's fine because the excuse is you're a little too drunk as yeah. long as you don't do that anything that terrible yeah you know like i just had steven on the show my co-host daddy steve yeah, oh my I god he's him, so dude. funny yeah yeah he's so funny but he got a little too drunk on the show and he kept interrupting and around and when i say around like he is a maniac he's a madman he had yeah. like 10 beers and it was the day before i left to go home for christmas and we got in a big fight i don't know did you guys see where i was like get Look out. Yes, I, I did see I that. I thought it was like not real. I thought it was no, a joke. No, bro, that was real. I, I just, that's so crazy that you think everything I do is a joke. No, not everything, but <laughs> no, but stuff like I that. I like it. Stuff it's like fine. that. I thought like. Because I, I guess how I. How could I get that mad at Steven? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he got me really pissed off. And then he said that my relationships with, uh, my relationship with Mike is fake or something. I guess I misinterpreted it. And I was like, that's my best friend. You fucking said it. Yeah. Fake. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I was mad. I, I I got real mad at him, but we we went downstairs and we squashed it off yeah. camera. That's good. Mm-hmm. It's good. I don't even know how I ended up going in that direction. What were we talking about? I don't even remember. I'm just talking what about were we talking so about? many things. We're just damn, we're like I goldfish, it. really good. <laughs> uh, I think I got CTE and a tummy. It's ate. from it's from getting beat up by Sean's Bro, training I was partner. Getting ground and pounded. He was just blasting. Did me you like head. it? Uh, yo, no. you're stupid. <laughs> no, I got it, humbled. It was, it was, it was, uh, definitely. I liked it, it was fun. Mm. Um, did it turn you on? Did you get, no. did you like getting ground and pounded? <laughs> it's hilarious. Ground and pounded yeah, is a wild one. Yo, did you like it? <laughs> dude, that was good. Thank that you. was your best joke since we had the pod, dude. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, that made me. I'm proud of you for that Thank one for you. real. It's one of yours. Wow. Yeah, so I got my beat and now I'm gay. That's how no. it goes. Oh my god! The story you told about like someone like sucking the snake venom uh, or something, and then you're uh, like, and now he's gay. I don't. Even, that I was like trying to make a joke. I was trying to come was up with so, a joke as I was. I was laughing. It was funny. That's fun. That's nice that you think yeah. I'm funny. I think you're funny too. Thank you. Wow, it's cute for a woman. No, I'm <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I agree. I'm kidding. There's a lot of I'm, funny women out there. Really? I think women are equally or even more funnier than men. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Feminism. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, my female audience. You guys are hilarious. Keep those funny comments coming. You have a large female audience, huh? It's 50-50. Down the what middle. the f- 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got, wow, I got data lucky. to back it up. That's amazing. That's insane. Yeah. It's just because you're pretty or what? Yeah, it is. Well, why, why would there be the male audience? Maybe they came from you. Maybe you got me the Well, guys. you're funny. You're funny, yeah. And I'm like a good male influence, you know? Yeah, a little crazy, but definitely a good influence. But yeah, and you I have that dark humor that guys love. And you have the looks that the girls yeah, love. Yeah, because originally, the audience that you, you garnered... Me up. Oil me up. The ar- Oil audience me that up. you... Because it was like... Wasn't it like David Dobrik? Yeah, well, then, before that, initially, it was... I got put on by, um, well, I was doing the haircut stuff. Like that yeah, that's was, huge for rappers. Was on Jersey Shore. Yeah. And uh, some other reality shows that I'm not too proud of. What was it? I'll, I'll tell you after the show. Okay. I do. I react to it, and it, like, recirculates, like, every two years. Oh, bad. Okay. Yeah, and it comes back up, but it's yeah. fine. Um, so, yeah, I was doing the haircut stuff, and I was, like, using Twitter as my form of social media to promote, like, just me as a barber. And, like, it was, like, a hype beast type thing. I had a Tumblr blog and all yeah. that. Yeah, if you want me to go that deep into it, but basically my ex girlfriend put me on. She was a famous actress, and like we did content together. And then I met Rudy Mancuso and all those Vine guys. Yeah. And then I was just trapping out of that building, sixteen hundred Vine. Yeah. I was just I moved. God, out I here. remember those days. Yeah, I just got a place there to package weed and ship back to the barber shop. I remember you told me the story. Yeah. And then I see King Batch on a hoverboard with a SpongeBob backpack, and he's like filming himself. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? And then I met Rudy at the pool, and he was like, you want some of these edamame chips? And I'm like, no, uh, I'm good, thanks, bro. And he goes, what do you <laughs> He said that to you? Yeah. Holy and I was like, what Because you didn't want the fuck? chips? I was like, yo, this kid's actually, like, 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 you see these internet, like, Viner comedians, like, they're all nerdy and stuff, you know, like, they're super clean online. But the fact that he was, like, so wild to say that to me, and, like, he didn't know if I would have just got up and punch his teeth out yeah and I, I thought that was dope so then we started hanging out and shooting vines together and it was sort of we had like a, our little click it was me and my ex-girlfriend rudy and his ex-girlfriend and we were like i think i remember seeing some of this stuff yeah it was, yeah it was fun um That's and then dope. yeah then that like then the vlog squad days you know they're all doing snapchat now That's yeah, why yeah, yeah. It's like, i noticed that let them have it you know yeah. like I, let them be there because i just don't want to see their sh- like no no beef with any of the other ones like no of course but yeah I, I, just, I hear you I just don't want to see it you know and Snapchat's like a good place to go if you want to run away from comments yeah you know? like if you got if nobody likes you go to Snapchat you know yeah. nobody mm-hmm. sees the I comments love the, I love facts. the slice shade it's so funny no, yeah yeah just, no just, I love just, that just little sibling like love you know f- yeah and those go, are the ones go, that hurt the most because they're like the most well, true. that's real. Keep running from the truth, you can't. Keep- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. You can run, but you can't hide, dude. God, that's what yeah. I always want to talk look about. With the eye that you cause, I always want to <laughs> talk about this one, I dude. But it. I like, I'll wait. You know, it's fine. I t- try to avoid it because it comes yeah. up in conversation a lot in those comments when people are like, "This is all he talks about." I'm dealing with it every day. You yeah, know? yeah. So I avoid it, but I'll, I'll talk about it. I don't give a. F- it's fun for me, you know. Like if I didn't get to have a little. Like make content yeah. about it, you know. This is what I do, so I have to talk about myself, yeah. and I'm honest. I'm like others in this business. Yeah, but that's won't dope. take their hats off. <laughs> I can't. That I was an glasses. evil ass laugh because yeah, I felt that coming before I you said glasses, it. I was like, this bro, and I didn't. I didn't put glasses on. I know. That's I like, respect. I respect that because I did give you one time for the glasses. I remember. Yeah, I was being mean. Sorry, Jeff. No, but the fifty fifty thing is dope. Half half men, half women. It's insane. It that's like sense, unheard though. of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For dudes, yeah. no dudes have that. No shit. dudes have that. Yeah. Right down the middle. That's Definitely dope. not who we were just talking about. He's probably all 12 year old boys. Yeah. <laughs> the ones he likes. Jesus Christ. Oh. Enough yeah. with the fucked up jokes, dude. Sorry. You guys yeah. are twisted. <laughs> you guys sound like Steve will do it in here. Stop it. We're trying to make it. That's what like our home. kid would come out as. Steve, Steve will, will do it. Do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just addicted to gambling. gambling yeah, and, yeah. yeah. And working out. Steve, get gotta, this. Get this. I had a conversation with Steve. We'll do it, obviously. Two days ago, and I'm not going to lie, it, it, he was talking to me because I love gambling. Yeah. I love gambling. I'm not on the level where he is with gambling. Like, he is so, like, I don't even want to say the word good, but it's insane how, like, good His he actually is. His luck is unheard of. It's, un, it's just insane. Yeah. So I'm having this conversation with him, and he was gen, we were genuinely you having this conversation. He's up, like, over all time? Yeah. Like he's, yes, 100%. Up? Yeah. Really? 100%. But also, I think part of it is also Dana's help. Dana comes in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, he's because, but he's also done favors. He done he favors has. back. He's amazing. Like, he's won Dana back with with Taylor Lewin like five hundred k at one. He I gave saw him like a million dollars or something, right? Yeah, he made no. He gave him five hundred thousand. He I watched Steve go from ten thousand. Him and Taylor both had ten thousand collectively. Got within a couple hours. Ten thousand each to half a million dollars, and gave it to I pay left, off Dana's marker. I left for F one for two hours, came back. Yeah, they turned twenty racks in a five hundred thousand and paid off and Dana's debt. Paid off a debt, so he gets. I mean, it's like obviously paying off five hundred thousand dollars for Dana's like nothing, but yeah, because he does he does stuff like that. He gets obviously taken care of, but that doesn't mean he's not good at gambling. And I don't even know if you can be good at gambling, but anyways, we're having this conversation. He's like, dude, I think you should be a, become a full time gambler. Like, um, imagine to, to me, imagine. A see, I'm talking about off camera, no can We're having yeah. a serious conversation, mm -hmm. considering like me gambling more. No, no, don't. I mean, that's a ridiculous thing to advise somebody to do. It's insane. Yeah. You should but, go gamble all. all but but here's the thing about Steve. For, here's no? the thing about Steve, though. This dude is he's like never wrong with this. Shit. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm gonna go gamble all my money away. But he, it's like, it's weird. He's he just, so intuitively always correct. It's, it's so kind weird. of scary. No, 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 no. So, so, okay, this is, this is delusion, what you guys have right now. No, You it's, will lose all your money. You will lose, the first time you get into it, he's going to lose. That's how it works. No, like, Brad you'll, would, you'll, your bad luck will come in and f*** up his streak. Dude, I've went in, I, <clears throat> I went. But if you really went in, like, you want to be a professional gambler, like, your first day where you commit, who knows? For you, it might work out. For me, I would. Lose yeah, you'd be, I would. Because I, I know, because we shit. were gambling. We were gambling. Yeah. You, I was like, this is like me when we're playing. <laughs> yeah, but I followed sucks. Steve's picks on some sports bets for like a week, and I came up thirty k. Really? Like that? Last week you did it. You wrote them. Not last week. The, the week prior or two weeks huh. ago, I did well, it for you one week. Copy his on prize picks, right? Yeah, and or just copy his. Like, like what well, we also do, like other just like calls, like to a bookie, yeah. like yeah. Just, straight like, bets or straight whatever bets. they're called. And Why there's don't a bunch you of other... be a bookie? You should be a bookie on the side. Get a sports book. Maybe. Maybe shake people down for money. Just give me your... Yeah, yeah you'd be good People at would that. respect you to, and pay you. Yeah. You know? Even though, you know, you, you probably have a lot to lose. Where Yeah, like, I probably shouldn't do that. Like, I wouldn't feel threatened by you because I know you wouldn't, like, come attack me because you have too much to lose, you know? It's all about timing. What are you saying? Like... Like, timing-wise or, like... No, you'd getting, be in like, the I'm shower. Pumping, he'd I'm attack my you. Gas. It'd be, like, the timing. Somebody, Machetes, my yeah, like that timing, and it just attached to the pump, like the right place at the right time. You know, yeah. like if I had a list of people that have yeah. to get them at the right place at the right time. Yeah, right, or send the goons. Let's change the topic. Okay, of she's, send the goon she's always send, protecting me. Goon. She's the best. Yeah. Uh, no, but We're seriously, about how would we kill each other? Yeah. No, 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 not each other. Okay. Like, I love anyways, these guys. Do you like his shoes? <laughs> uh, personally, um. He's tapping into the dad energy, which I respect. Not feeling that, bro. Um, the, new, the newbie. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan. Everyone really. on the internet since they've seen these, they love these shoes. Yeah, which I is have interesting. them. I have, I have multiple pairs of them. I try to get into them. I try to, you know, keep up with the times. Is this a thing? You know, is this a times? I don't thing? want yeah, to get aged out. I, I, I oh, fight so shoes. hard not to age myself out of things. You know, like these are more from my era. Yeah, they you are. know, Air the Maxes Air Max. and yeah, that's just Staten Island, New York scumbag I love Air Maxes. shit. You know, and yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I saw a picture of myself when I was 15 wearing New Balances. But not these ones. <laughs> they were just blue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I was doing it before. Yo, like, you should post that picture. Be like, I've been on top of my game. my hair is so embarrassing. I have Pauly D hair in it. Oh. It's so bad. Whoa. I want to yeah. see that. hairstyle like that? I, I it created it. I used to cut Pauly's. That Your fucking, hair up? <gasps> Yeah. That's crazy. The gaudy boys. Why did you think that was a good idea? It was just a thing, bro. Why'd you get that jacked? You know, why'd yeah. you think that was a good idea? <laughs> I think I think a lot of people think that's a good idea, though. I don't know that's a haircut. waste of time, bro. No. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. I, the two sixty joke is because of the idea. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know? Right. No, no. That's it's it's great for you. If you're happy, I'm happy. You know, you, know, you got hair, you got hair products. I don't you know? I, I don't want to body. It's funny to body shame you, the guy that's in such great shape, you know. I, that I can get you're away. You're also with. in great shape. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks. That's really sweet. Wow. She's, give her a compliment. She, you're in great shape. She knows that. I know that. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Dude, I've been complimenting her. I love this. I swear to God, Jeff. I You should come on more. She's the most smiley she's been since she's been on this podcast in a while. That's not true. Stop. Dude. The comment section's going to ride that. Smiling, dude. They're, they're not going to... If I didn't say it, guaranteed, they would say it in the comments. Well, this is, I would this have is loved to have you infiltrate the Bachelor series... But unfortunately, you didn't make the cutoff. Are you joking? 
Damn. Yeah, I, there was a literal <clears throat> age cutoff. I don't want to be getting called what Sorry. he gets called on the internet. Yeah, I'm not, not right. 17. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I set a rule so that so many I other people... I turn 23 tomorrow. Okay, so then ambush after you're 23. Then just... And we'll get you in after you're 23. So tomorrow. What yeah, you, just Is wait. your birthday actually tomorrow? Swear to God. It is actually tomorrow. Or are you saying it in like podcast time, like when this episode No, my comes birthday out? is Tuesday. It's tomorrow. Like my birthday wow. would have passed by the time this goes out. Oh, and I'm doing the episode Wednesday. See? Perfect timing. It's meant to be. Oh, damn. Whoa. Wild Star comes in. I just turned 23. Yeah. Synergy. Game's You're over for you, Tan. <laughs> I want to see these other girls. Watch this show, Bradley. Four and a half hours each episode. It's a lot. What? You know, are you, shoot, are you shooting? The, are you doing this live with H three? Yeah. Oh, that's probably good. Are they coming in yeah. real life? Uh, I think at the the main event. Yeah. Yeah, and then main event can be a boxing thing, and I'll take them. They em. have the consent to that too, though. I don't think these girls are prepared to do that. No means yes. Okay. Whoa, that, that, she's <laughs> crazy today. <laughs> you just gonna go Oh my god! Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Dude, I'm done. Sarah, that's be normal, amazing. Be normal, be normal. I really like that you're you're bringing up that as like the final competition, though. That's dope. Yeah. Fight to the death. That's how yeah. it, I feel that's like how that's how everything good, is. Because like, what if it really came down to it? Like, obviously, you don't need your girl to fight for you, but like, what if she needs to fight? What if all yeah. of a sudden, like, some guy came, got both of your legs? They're both broken, okay? Or hit your other and then, eye. And <laughs> yeah, no, that's a no, thing. it's a real thing. And then, yeah. okay, your girl has to step up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. I don't think I want that though. I'd rather just get killed. Remember I one think. time I told Steiny? I'd rather get I respect that. You remember one time I told Steiny, <laughs> like, oh, if you fall asleep in the car, don't worry. I'll carry you upstairs, tuck Dude. you in a bed. <laughs> that you can do. You could totally do that. Steiny would probably love it. He'll probably fall asleep. He would fall asleep on purpose just for you to do that. <laughs> yeah, true. That's the kind of guy Steiny is. All jokes aside, though, um, what are three qualities you look for in women? Let's just keep talking, Steiny. Let's, <laughs> let's just keep talking, Steiny. Steiny's the type of guy to wear those shoes that have the, the lifts that are like built into them. You know that brand that sells them? I got sponsored by them. Oh, really? yeah. You're already tall. Is that why you're tall? No, I, I know they, they shouldn't have sponsored me. They should have sponsored Steiny. Steiny. Yeah, there you go, Steiny. Get a sponsor. Yeah. I had Steiny on the barbershop. Uh huh. I had him on the show that you won't come on because you're insecure about your hair. Yes, oh. yes, yes. I put him in a booster seat. Oh, no, you didn't. And he was like, yo, come on, bro. Like, can you, I, I, like, but did we, he stay in the booster seat? He played along. He's a good. He's a good sport. He is. Yeah. He is. So we do the whole episode, and we talk about crazy. Shit. Like I'm trying to get him as uncomfortable as possible. Yeah. Like what the show is is what why you don't want to come on is probably because I will play into your insecurities or what the internet says about you, and I'll just lean into that. I'll be like the haters that hate comments right to your face. I'm coming on the show. Okay, dope. Oh, you yeah. said it a lot. You said yeah. It I'm here. coming on the show. Perfect. Soon. Yeah. Time. It's yeah. literally, okay. it's literally, it's, it will make you be Eminem and 8 Mile. When he's like, <laughs> yeah. when, he go, he, when they do the coin toss, he's like, I'll go first. And he says everything to you. And then it's like, what can you say about me? I just laughed at all that. Shit, and I'm f***ing bald. You know? I'm coming drop on. Drop the mic. Mic drop. I'm coming on. Yeah. Yeah. You'll crush everyone. Then they got nothing to say about you, except that you'll lose fights to professional fighters. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm used to that. Yeah. That's normal. Yeah. All right. What was, uh, any more about Steiny? I had a question. You totally dodged it. I said, what are three qualities you look for in a woman? Like the 10 contestants that you do have. All jokes aside, what do you look for? Do women fear you? Dude. Um, Jeff? Is I think sometimes. I don't know why. Bro, I so love nice. your comedy. Do they, do I swear to God. Do they get jealous or do they get like intimidated by you? Um, Brad, what do you think? I think this is a better question The way he dodges questions is hilarious. Yo, you're good, dude. You're good. Um... As far as what women be do intimidated? women fear me intimidated or are they jealous? Because <clears throat> you get hate from some girls. They're like, uh, like girls shouldn't like work out like this or something. Oh yeah, you got a lot of that. Wasn't yeah. that like a viral thing at yeah, one point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they can suck my, my for all. I yeah, care. like she's too masculine or too built or whatever. That was the whole. And thing. I'm like. You're not. I'm not even that big. You, you I, I mean, that's the thing with the fitness things. Like you photograph. Like, like it's an illusion. You photograph way differently than like you just really are. Bitch, yeah, you you're look tiny. like a hamster. She's... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> kind of hurt her feelings, I think, though. No. Take care of your child. The bitch that was talking to me, I know what you're talking the, about. The Twitter. The Twitter. I, shit. I didn't. I don't know. She Mike just told me this. Mike, when he was coming to film with you guys, like yes. a few months ago, he was like, "Sarah is getting bullied online right now, so I'm going to, Save I guess, her. bully you more or or whatever he no, did he in that was, video." He, not, he was nice. Yeah, I have to Mike's say my name. Good at what, Sarah? Yeah, Sarah. 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 This sparks right here, dude. Sarah. But yeah, that, we're not gonna be friends. That girl can like eat a You know, dick. like from uh, Wolf of Wall Street. 
You want to be friends? You know what the movie references? He's good. You never watched Wolf of Wall Street? I did. I did. I've watched that. You know the scene when it's he's with Margot Robbie, obviously. Yeah. It's Leo and his wife. Oh, no. He, he's cheating on his wife. With Margot yeah, Robbie. Yeah. And I think he, I'm going to butcher it, but I think he's like, you want to be friends? And she's like, we're not going to be friends. Yes. You know? That's yes. this right now. Can you think you can be friends with a girl? Can you say that? You think we're going to be friends? You think we're going to be friends? <clears throat> I was giving you a chance to say the line, but no, if you want to do it, you don't okay. want to do it. It's all right. I can't. Why I'm not? shy. She is shy. I think you can be friends with the girl because we've proven it, and him and Tana have proven it. Yeah. Yeah, but but it's like a different uh, relationship, like business. It's is a different. business type of relationship, but also you become like friendly with the person. If it wasn't related to content at all, do you think you could be friends with a girl? Strictly friends with a girl. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think so. Do you think girls can be friends with guys? I have other girls that aren't in my content that I'm friends with. Yeah. That are lesbian. Oh, well, that's it? because there they're lesbian. There you go. He's asking, Answer. can you be friends with a straight woman? Um, That's not business related. Yeah. I don't, I don't. If Tana and I didn't do together business wise, I would still be friends with her. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I could. Why? If you guys didn't, if you weren't in. Uh, team 10, 50% of her money. I, or, dude, I don't get he none get of her zero, money. He gets zero. Oh, yeah, that's none dope. This is you real friendship right here. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's, I put her on for real and I didn't take that's nothing. That's dope because I know you got fucked over by somebody yeah, one oh, time yeah. and now you're just like, you know what? Let's just yeah, just do you. Yeah, definitely just got fucked Go over. ahead. That's what I'm saying, but she's the one person that like I actually put on and it, it, it also gave back to me. It wasn't like I just need money from her. Yeah. Like the other people that I put on who eventually fucked me over. Mm-hmm. There was no, there wasn't like they were giving me anything back. Like she's gone above and beyond and like she's gotten more out of like, I like guess her career, which, whatever you want to call it, content. And she always kind of like gives back. You know, mm -hmm. she's always helpful. She's always like, Aww. she's not just like a person who's like, thanks, go yourself. I'm doing this now with these people now. So like, yeah, yeah. She's like consistent with like the reciprocation of it. I try to always think about him, but that's because I care <laughs> about him. Yeah. Like I want to see him How'd succeed. How'd you two meet? Oh. You go ahead. You tell. <laughs> you tell well, the story. I, I was fil I filmed a, a piece of content where uh, I think it was Diego at the time. Yeah. Because it, it was a bit where it was like joking that like oh, I don't have ago. a gym crush, and he yeah. like, he did this thing where like he's with this girl, and I'm like, uh. and then I posted it, and then I was like, when I posted it to get like traction on the story, I was like, need a gym partner, like looking for a gym partner, and she messaged me with like. She had like no followers. She had like a thousand yeah. followers. She messaged yeah, me. Yeah, a thousand like, followers. Oh, oh. Right. Like, <laughs> he was like peasant, right? Uh, no, yeah. no. No. Um, she was like, she was like, oh, I'll do it. Like, she put like, I think it was like a hand. I don't even know what it was. Maybe a hand emoji or something. And then I DM'd her. I said, come work out. And then I met her. And then she, because like, I also looked at her page and was like, oh, she like is really into working out just because I could look. But I saw. she's not like doing no. She wasn't LA posting Pilates. Shit. Nothing. No posts and nothing. She Have you ever tried Pilates? She was full on like a... You You would piss them off if you went into that gym. We like, should do it for a bit. Yeah, Pilates. But Pilates is hard. It's hard. It's it hard actually is hard. Imagine they smoke you in fitness. Yeah, and it's fuck. Like my ego Instagram can't take models that. models and stuff. Yeah. You're going to so, just wreck the whole place, break the machines. So yeah, she messaged me and was like, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll do it. And I said, come. And that because I was looking at her page, I was like, well, she's really in shape. Well, I don't know why she doesn't post more. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then when I met her, worked out with her, I was like, she actually has like a really good personality for the internet because obviously I've been doing it for so many years. It's mm -hmm. easy to identify like, oh, this person could do it. So I was telling her like, why don't you Balance post more? Out, yeah. And she was like, no, nah, I don't really do that. Like I'm way more into school. I don't really want to. And then like, I was kind of like, no, you should do it. Like you'd be really good at Did it. Did you drop out of school? Nope. She finished it. Wow. And um, then I finished it and then I got my master's. No yeah. way. She's for smart. What? She's smart. For what? Business? Master's in business. Undergrad was in psych with business minor. So she's a really good business partner, to be honest. Yeah. At this point now. Wow. It's like we own this. Damn. It's not like this is just mine and she's here. Yeah. It's ours, you know? So like I said, it's, just, it's there's certain people that like they just take. Yeah. And then like it's always the ones who just take who are like, oh, that person didn't do enough for me. It's like because they just took, took, took. And then when they felt like maybe they didn't get as much as they want in the moment, they're just mm -hmm. they turn and they treat you like a piece of shit. She never just took. She took, she took, but then she kept giving too. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is like the perfect person. And we have obviously good synergy and content. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. You guys got lucky meeting each other. Yeah, he really did put me on for real. Yeah. It's cool. That's cool. That really is cool. Honestly, I had no idea. I figured it was like a Team 10 type of thing cause no. I, just because I heard the last time. But yeah, that's how I'm on my crew too. I mean, everybody obviously 
I pay everyone, even the characters that just yeah f- around. I pay like talent rates, but I just know from history of like being in gr- like groups that <clears throat> getting paid in exposure is like a it's not a real thing, you know. Like yeah, I guess it can be, but it just doesn't seem morally right. Like I I want to make sure everybody's getting at least money to eat and gas and rent. You know, like it might not be the most I'm paying my my guy like. My editors and shit are compensated well, but yeah, no, but it's a very thoughtful thing you're doing, and you learned it from video. experience. Yeah, which yeah. is great. Steven, again, my co-host, Daddy yeah, Steve, yeah. hilarious it, on TikTok and everything. Uh, one time he pissed in his own mouth on the show, and that's like the wild card thing I was talking about. Yeah, you know, that's like he does crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And then one time his dad called into the show, and he goes, "Hey, Steve, I see what you're doing out there in L.A. I thought I'd try it out. Look pretty cool, man." And then he, his dad pissed in his own mouth. You're lying. <laughs> You're <laughs> lying, bro. Oh, yeah. No way. It was so. It was, it was the best moment of Jeff FM history. It's number one. Like, I, if that, if I had to call out any moment, it was that. I've never laughed so You're hard. You're lying. Like, That's not real. It was so funny. Like father, like, like son. Father, like son. Yeah, yeah. There's wow. no way. That had to be set up. <laughs> no, bro. His dad, it was. It wasn't set up? No, it was real. Holy shit. They're nuts. But They're, that makes him so much more like. Funny. That's so yeah, entertaining. That's so the fact funny. that his dad did that shit <laughs> yeah. too just like solidifies that character. <laughs> yeah. It's so fucking good. Yeah. Damn, yeah, dude. She's done that once too. <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then pod. Crazy. She like, sat, laid down right here. Yeah. And did it. We, did, we didn't put it in though. We were like, it's too inappropriate. Yeah. Different shows. Different yeah. shows. Yeah. Trying to get that OnlyFans bag. Need, this is what we, what? I said, yeah. Trying to get that OnlyFans bag. Cap. Dirty money. So you won't do it. You won't do OF? Or <clears throat> Depends. Is Brad gonna force me and take thirty <laughs> percent? Yeah. And, right. then no, just, and then you leave it, and you're like, "Is that you where you start you? cutting what? in your percentage?" No, I would. Even if I made one, at, he wouldn't take a percent. Yeah. But I'd be dead before I ever made one, anyways. So gonna that's one. like not gonna happen. Why integrity? Is are you worried about your future with children, knowing that you have nudes? Dude, out there I'm worried one? about my future for my own mental health. That's yeah. so yeah. degrading. I it, it, can I say that? Say whatever you want, yeah. Well, like, not degrading, but I think for me, for my, like, it's not, a, it's not, like, if another girl's going to do it, I'm not going to be like, oh, you're dirty. But it's, like, for me with myself and, like, maybe my upbringing and, like, mm-hmm. family and stuff, I just, yeah, I'm not going to. For sure, yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I, I respect I wouldn't. that. And you could say that. Don't feel like you can't say shit yeah. like that. Yeah, like, not even, like, about- <laughs> sure, in the future, I would also hate, like, if my kid someone had to ever bring that up to my kid that would also mm. be terrible i would feel so guilty for that but my content right now already is i mean i try to make it respectable but obviously i make inappropriate jokes and i post like pictures of me in sports bras but like but it's you have to draw the line bra. somewhere yeah. yeah i don't know sporty would you ever do that only fans yeah. no yeah no would you ever well i guess you didn't you weren't hip on the drake thing but would you ever leak your dick would I ever leak my dick? No, I I've always been very like the Drake thing, ca- you know. Careful with like the guy we were talking about earlier. That's insane to me, especially because he's like just starting out, or maybe he's been doing it for a while, or he's just been blowing up. I've been seeing a lot more of him recently. But when I first started getting a little bit of notoriety, I like got so scared to talk to any girls because I was like, like, they're gonna try to expose you. I'm gonna yeah. ruin my career yeah. over what you know. So girls are, yeah. I just didn't want to take any chances. Not that I was gonna, not that I'm like a weirdo or I would do anything bad. I just like avoided. I don't want. I, I didn't want to risk any screenshots of DMs going around. Like, look at this loser. DM yeah, yeah, I get you. Because he's in the vlog squad. He thinks he could. Ah, that shit would crush me. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we just uh, have very high standards, you and I. Maybe, yeah. Wow, similarities. Yeah. Still going. Morals. Yeah. Are you religious? No, not really. I think I should be. Maybe I'd be happier if I was. What do you I think was. is the best religion? Oh, you're <laughs> Genuinely, I don't think there's... <laughs> you're no, you th- and don't I answer, genuinely don't mean answer. this. I'm kidding. I'm just fucking around. No, no, no. Let me finish this. I don't know. For me, it's... He's I don't have knowledge answer. about any you of the religions. You can't this. answer this. Stop. Wait, Stop. why? It's a fake question. No, I it wasn't going to just... say a religion, but I think regardless if you believe in something bigger than yourself, yeah, it's great. Yeah, Like, regardless of what you're believing in, I don't think it matters, like... For me, if someone tells me like, oh, they're Jewish or like they're Muslim or they're Mm -hmm. Christian, like it doesn't change my perspective of them. But I'm like, respect that you believe in something bigger than this. And yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like something 
Hitler would say. <laughs> no, stop. But, cool. Like, you, you didn't have to answer it. <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> You know, it was one of those. Sounds like something Hitler would say. I didn't Jeez. know. I, I just I felt bad asking it, and then no. it was cute how you tried to like give Save a real it? a real response. But no, I agree with you there. It's true. You know, something outside of yourself, bigger mm-hmm. than yourself, dude. <sighs> you need to take me with you next time you go training. Where? Where, where you? Because you said you. I don't know where you go, but you went. And you said you were sparring with like Wiz Khalifa or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. At uh, uh, that's Unbreakable in yeah. Hollywood. But I, it, whether or not cameras or not, I want to go do that. I know we said in Vegas. Don't know cameras. Just I, yeah. train. Just I know. So like, let's like, let me know. They would real. love to have you in there too. And I went out the day after Sneeko sparred Strickland and got beat up in the uh, PI. Yeah. I went there the next day because I'm friends <clears> with his uh, grappling coach, Jason Manley. This guy's like a legend in the UFC. Strickland's coach. Yeah, you yeah. met him. He came up to you and yeah. uh, the the black dude. He was like, yes. he was, he was he, uh, something about you being two sixty. And yeah, he yeah. showed me the video. I was like, yeah, you gotta post that. That'll be funny. Yeah. Um, but I so I went in there and I was grappling with him, and he was just toying with me. You know, like he's looking at the camera as he's like choking me out. And yeah. But um, yeah, it was funny that we we uh, like we went in there the next day. I forget what I was talking about. What did I, no, oh, I want to go do that. Oh yeah, so I could take you there. We could go to the PI. They would love to have you there. Or if you just come to this gym over here, they would, you know, they, they'd be hyped to see you. Because you've made a name for yourself in the MMA community. I know. You know? It's cool. Like, you ever watch those, like, MMA gossip like, yeah. channels? Like, MMA on point and stuff? Like, they, yeah. Yeah, those, like, rabbit holes. I go down those, and then I'll see, like, you in them. And it's cool, you That's know? That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. It is pretty cool. They love on me you're grown up i like it though it's fun yeah respect yeah. you got to do a fight though eventually i know you i want to i want to fight logan mr impulsive in what mma you want to fight logan in mma mm-hmm. really i'd love to he's got really good grappling though and he does train jujitsu yeah don't sleep on that like just because he's not posting about it he's yeah he's good and that takes time like even me training right now for what we do, like podcasting, Logan, not even really, like he does WWE, which is like kind of goes hand in hand. I want to do that. I want to do That's WWE. Just cra- I mean, he's great at that. What if he frog splashes you? What if? <laughs> how do you defend against that? <laughs> I want to catch him. <laughs> yeah. Bang. Okay. That's yeah. That's good. That's I guess that's you know, we got to work on some technique. I think you go in the gym and just train for like six months, never post anything from it, and then you know. Oh, oh, you know, true. I haven't. He ha- he does train. Oh, yeah? He does. So you've been doing this already. Yeah. I could see that. I could see you doing some like that. Did you just put mats in? Um, yeah. Zoo culture. Zoo culture, yeah. yeah. We're fighting tomorrow. Ooh. He said the only way Jeff would come on this podcast is if you two fight. My calves are too sore right now from getting leg kicked. I would need oh. another week. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait. Of recovery. Actually, two days. Let's roll soon, though. Okay, how about this? I come by the gym one day this week as a trade-off for my appearance here on this, <laughs> okay. sh- on this show here. Yeah. Even though it was a f- you know, favor for Sarah. Thank you. But I want you to pay it back with just put me through your types of workouts. Okay. And then I'll put you through some of mine. Like I'll pick three, you pick three. Yeah. And then we'll see like we could have like a tally up system, like how you know, who's like- actually a better athlete, who's Ooh, yeah. this is good. Yeah. Okay. You're going to get me on the cardio, though. I'll get you on a lot of The cardio. You'll maybe. get me lifting anything, but also if it's a calisthenic, like if it's pull-ups, I could probably beat you, I think. Oh. No. Really? Mm-hmm. How many can you do straight? A lot. More than 25? Mm, probably 25. Yeah. I could beat you in that then. What about muscle-ups? I could probably only do like five straight now. Yeah. I haven't been doing them. Dude, this but, is going to be good. Yeah. I can do a lot of those. Muscle ups you can do yeah. a lot of? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been doing them. <clears throat> I wish I prepared for this. Yeah, it's no, okay. it's okay. We'll pick, we'll pick muscle ups. I'll pick that for sure. Damn, you're going to smoke me in that. Yeah. I'm going to probably tear my neck muscle and I'll be turning like this for <laughs> a week. No, I'm down though. Let's do it. All right. But I also just want to like even just go to that gym with you and just f- around. Even okay. off camera. But this is care. at your gym. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to your gym or yeah. you want to come to Unbreakable? Because I don't. Well, I want to go to Unbreakable and actually just like yeah. Roll I with don't you. think we 
roll up there with cameras and all no, that shit. No, because like, even if we do anything at Zoo, everyone's like this. Yeah. That's going to just turn into that real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It's already live. The video's out before it even comes out. Yeah, it'll be on someone's <laughs> oh, Snapchat right? all over. Damn. My Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably mine. Um, You should do some jujitsu too. I'd be down. I'd, I want to. There's I've done boxing a little bit before. I just want to know that if I go out and like a girl presses me, I could knock her out. Yeah, that's good. But also with jiu-jitsu, you can like disarm somebody. Like you can shut them down yeah, I without do even that. hurting them. Like you could gracefully just make somebody be like, okay, I'm humbled. I'll stop. Yeah. I'll stop. Yeah, I want to do that. That'd be so yeah, dope. Yeah, really cool like chokes and stuff that girls can learn. And they're not that hard. Like you pick them up in a few classes and you could use, there's gi classes and there's no gi. So the gi is like the karate outfit. Yeah. And you use that to strangle people. You yeah. could use the belt. You could pull their belt off and wrap it around their neck and strangle them with their belt. Yeah, the Ooh, I like crazy. It's a real thing, like in the gi competitions. Gi's um, way harder than no gi, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's, it's it's different. Yeah, it's definitely like. If you don't know how to use the gi, you're going to. Well, I'd want to yeah. do sure. no gi because if you're out and about, yeah, no yeah. one's wearing a gi. Well, clothes. Well, yeah, they clothes. take like, clothes. say you have a hoodie on, that's kind of yeah, like. Yeah, kind of like somebody. Okay. Nah, I, I pulled somebody's hoodie down and was hitting them. Like six months ago, some kid tried to troll me with his phone out. It's like, yo, what's it like to this have is one a eye? I Wait, what did he say? He was like, what's it like to have one eye? He came up to me, and, I, and then, you know. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Holy <laughs> yeah, some <laughs> dumbass, you know. What the city? What do you think? I, like, yeah, it's just unnecessary. Yeah. What city? What do you think's going to happen here? It was, it was here. He said what it's like to have one eye? Yeah. So I, I, grabbed, the, wow. I grabbed the phone, and... Uh, That's crazy and um yeah grabbed his hoodie and it's not like that much of a jiu-jitsu move you know you just grab the hoodie it's like old old school yeah. fucking street fighting trick and uh then i had to get out of there you know because it's like you know how kanye always gets caught up with like the paparazzi <laughs> yeah. And yeah and i was like F i'm gonna have one of those videos out now like me getting mad and like going after him like, yeah so I, I i just had to take off before the cops came and like they started chasing me now down Sunset, and I'm like, I'll do this all day. I just did New York City Marathon. Like my yeah. training's crazy. Like you want to chase me on foot? Let's yeah. go. Like I'll do that with anybody all day. So I, I was like, I hit my pace. My stride was like a six minute mile, and I'm just cruising. I turn around back foot, I'm, I'm like going backwards, and I'm like, yeah. My <laughs> What's it like to have one eye? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those, that was nice because it was like one of those haters in real life. You yeah. know, that's you rare, though. It's that's rare. so rare. Yeah. But, but he was genuine. He said he was actually like trolling, like for mm -hmm. real trolling you. Yeah. That's just weird, though. Yeah, and I was by myself. I was literally by myself. I was in a weed dispensary, too. I was buying weed. Do you have one of those Do you stupid... smoke weed? Yeah. A lot? No, just to come up with funny jokes. That's it. Damn. A little bit at night, some goofs. Maybe come up Brad, with a Brad, stop little. touching the lamp. I'm sorry. You keep... It's going to affect my audio quality. Yeah, sorry, sorry. My bad. Um, oh, what was I going to ask little, you? Yeah, just a little bit of the devil's lettuce to come up with some silly goofs. But go I, I was going to ask you about, we were talking about the Logan Paul thing, the impulsive. W what is that like set up with you and impulsive? Are you still like consistently on the show? Or is I that think just, like, I'm a, like you with Nelk. I think they just yeah. bring me in when they like Rob, feel like it, you know? Hand off the lamp. Sorry. Mommy, daddy. Sorry. Mommy, daddy talk. So sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I just come in when they ask, you know? Yeah. So... They haven't been asking. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> no, I just been busy. I've been doing a bunch of shit over here, yeah. and also that time I was supposed to record was the hotel situation. Got it. I was got it. Shoot in Miami with I think it was Rick Ross or somebody. They had the next thing we we're gonna yeah, do a yeah. boys episode because he was at the karate thing too. Yeah, that's why Mike was even more mad because like I also bailed on Impulsive technically, you know. I got it. So it's kind of fucked up to do that, but bro, you don't see, like. I'm there 4 a.m. I literally came there just to be there for your thing. You know, that's it. That's the only reason I came there. Yeah. And we went out. We had Waffle House after. It was yeah. Cool. I got my fix. I was in Miami for eight hours. And I was like, all right, back to L.A. I'm not going to get this hotel room. This guy's going to make jokes, mock me, say, oh, this is Bra your hotel price is Bradley's wait time six. That's how much. Oh, real funny, bro. I'm out. This place, all you guys. I got a temper. And I don't yeah, complain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just leave. That's yeah. what I do now. Okay? I saw that. I used to. I used to snap out and I used to like break shit or like yell at people. And now I just leave. Yeah. I go by like, I'll go be by myself or something and just breathe. Breathing exercises, Wim Hof, stuff like he that. He went for a run. He texts me the next day. He's like, you know, I'm for a 
and run. Oh, I did a half marathon. Yeah. 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 Wow. That was with like two Crazy. hours of sleep from oh. that night. So I went, I got another hotel on Hotels Tonight, the app, and the same shit happened. They're like, it's after midnight. You booked this for yesterday. I'm like, you mother I'm going to go fucking nuts. So I go walk into the good time one with cash. I'm like, just please give me a place to stay. And they finally got me a room. And then I slept for a few hours. And then I just woke up and I was like, I got to go. Go for a run. Go get a half marathon in. I gotta run more. Yeah, I love that when I wake up and I'm just like, yeah, it's feeling like a half marathon type day. That's you've it's, never done that. You know, sometimes, sometimes. never. It's just like it, I, it's just mindless. Like yeah, right. You, it's like meditation for me because exactly. you don't have to think when you know your pace and you get like like I know I'll look at my heart rate. I'll check if I'm going a little too much. If I'm trying to hit 13 miles, I know I gotta like restrict myself from. You know, a Kanye song might come on, and then I get this shit up to 190, and it's like, yeah, you got <laughs> you got nine miles left, bro. You know, like, yeah. take it easy. I experienced so, the same thing. Yeah, I know my stuff. But working out, lifting weights, I think maybe somewhat similar. But if you do jiu-jitsu, you got – that's like you're in school, and if you miss, like, what the teacher said, then you're going to get fucked up. Yeah. You know, so you got to, like, be paying attention. You got to be present mentally and physically. Yeah. That's why I think you would really – you guys would really like doing jiu-jitsu. No, I love jujitsu. It's fun. Yeah, my little six-year-old niece. She just won a competition. She's in Kentucky. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, your sister's. Yeah, yeah. my sister's a purple belt, and she put her in jujitsu like from birth, basically. That's dope, though. For I feel like that's important for girls to have training like that. Yeah, I think for anyone. For I anyone, think kids but I'm saying... just do more shit like that. Yeah, she beat up the boys too. Yeah. And she's tiny. She's forty pounds. Did you see the stuff about Kanye? Speaking of Kanye. The whole Adidas, like, suing him again. And he, he's, like, he was just on his Instagram, like, today, being, like, don't buy these new shoes. Yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't wear Adidas today. I got to support my boy. I thought I, I thought they had sorted all that. I thought they had, too. And then he came out today and was, like, yo, they're trying to release these shoes. I didn't. They're not trying to pay me, and they're suing me. Yeah. Just crazy. Yeah, I mean, it makes crazy sense. Crazy because it's his name. Like, the yeah. shoes are Yeezys. Look at your relationship with Young L.A. Yeah. Imagine they start selling. It says Bradley Martin on it. Well, that's what they did for eight years. They just switched the logo around. Um, what else? What else? This I is a great podcast. I my think boys we're here. At, my like, rides here. I got to wrap it up. The my, vibes my were good. You yeah, were falling in love. Like that mm. was crazy. I wasn't falling in love. A little bit. A little bit. I think you like his hair. You know, more than that. I respect it's, that. No, I think that. I think he's a dope person. No, he's dope. Amazing. I. He's I, a little crazy. I, I don't see think you why see the crazy. you're so successful. You don't see the crazy side of him yet, though. You won't see it. She sees it. She likes I, it. I pick I up a little bit of the crazy. I see he's a little crazy in, yeah. in her, too. But yeah. you know, I'm also a little crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fair. And that's it true. balances you two out. You yeah, know? yeah, because he's really good at handling crazy. Yeah, yeah I am. Yeah. He's like I'm the most well, that comes with age, you know? Yeah. Like I was saying, I used to be a, a hothead, and now I'm still a hothead. I just manage it better. Yeah. Well, dude, it's been a pleasure. I'm yeah, glad thank you, you so on. much for I'll, coming I'm gonna on. I'm going to come do the hair thing for you. Yeah, I'm I always don't want down it, but I'm gonna to come do it. on. You know, sixth time I'm on this show, or this is a different show, but yeah. you know, I've been on the show 10 times. I love I love when he's on my show. Yeah. No, once. we appreciate you coming on. Seriously, thank you for taking the time to come here. Well, it was a pleasure. It was great to meet you finally in yeah. person. This was and amazing. Brad, I'm happy you opened up about everything today. Yeah, thank you, man. Finally, I appreciate it. I got to hit that up my chest, you know? Yeah. Let it go. We'll help you with Don't edit that out, bro. Leave that in. Which part? Everything. The yeah. steroid use, the hair oh, insecurities. The that'll be in. Pedophile stuff. I don't care. It's, I don't care. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> pedophile stuff was good. That's insane, but I will leave it in. I don't care. Yeah. Just, it's all just... It's all just, just goofs, truth. bro. You yeah. know? Yeah. We're just messing around, having a good time. This is fun. I think we're on to something here. Let's do more um, filming and stuff together. Yeah, I'd love and, to. And weightlifting and meal prepping. I can't be cooking my own turkey anymore, ground yeah. turkey. And jujitsu. Yeah. 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 More to yeah. come. More Whenever to come. you want. Whenever you want, I'll cool. take you to my gym and I'll be I'll be over at uh zoo this week, I guess. Yeah. All the influencers in there. So many, dude. It's cool that you have a hub like for all these people to come. I miss when I had a barber shop because it yeah. was like a place that everybody would come and like I, hang out. You just yeah, you have would have access to shit off the street, like yeah. and vaccine cards come out, like the <laughs> fake vaccine shit. Like yeah. they're selling them out of barber shops. Like yeah. you just get your hands on anything back then, you know. Yeah. So I'm sure you, at the gym, that's how like it feels. Steroids, whatever you need. Fake sneakers or designer bags or whatever. Probably we could find. Up. She, she I, definitely. I, I'm plugged for those. She's got the plug for that. Bootleg DVDs, movies. Yep. Yeah. Shit. We like got that. it all there. I got to get down there. I got to get a barber shop too. Maybe we'll.
collab on one right next door. You, you should. Like a little, there little is a little spot. Oh, there crazy. is a spot. Is there really? I swear to God, yeah. I'm going to have to cut this if we're really going to do it. I would do it. I'll invest in it. I'll leave it in. Tell us if we should do it. Should I'll do it. I think I'll you guys are, straight you up. Two are really Bradley good together. And, and I do a barbershop, and then I'll take Bradley to Turkey, get the surgery. We come back. You have the sickest hairline. I can line that shit up perfect. You know, like, yeah. like, uh, You'd like Jamie Foxx has like that small <laughs> forehead, you know? Like Jamie Foxx's hairline's perfect. You're gonna give me a better forehead too? Yeah, Fuck. yeah. You're gonna have a tiny little forehead. It's gonna be a little square like this. Wow, my dreams. Be a dream come true. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Bro, I had a big forehead forever, which sucks. Anyways, Bo, but I actually talking genuinely about the gym space and the barber thing, because I was gonna open a gym in Vegas and I was I was thinking about having like an actual barbershop in it. But at in this, Vegas? You wanna do it in Vegas? I'm gonna open a gym in Vegas. That's gonna happen. Okay. Um, but this spot here in LA. Let's I'm, end the show because this is. Yeah, yeah. I have to go pee. All right. All right. Thank you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you, Jeff Wittick, for coming on. His handle is at Jeff on Instagram, Jeff yeah. FM podcast. Check it out. Um, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Bradley. Yeah, we love yeah. you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Yeah.